Joanna. No, Fluffy, come back! Oh man, I just got him on his contract nearly. Fuck. Fluffy, come back! Fluffy, come back! Come back! There's Mommy. just no way we Mommy can live without you. But we will persevere regardless. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ace Attorney Tuesdays. Thank you for the sub, by the way, Goop. You are up extremely early, I think. Whoa. Maybe. We love Goop in this household. Goop is, Goop is a legend. A legend of great importance in this chat. 20 months is a long time to sub to someone, let me just say. That is Not only to this idiot. Yeah. I'm actually a moron. I don't know why people sub to me, but I appreciate you. Because you're amazing if you do. Sub to you because I'm in your show. Uh, why? Because fuck you. That's why, Romy. Does that answer your question? <laughs> I like how he's, uh, he's, he's perfectly, he's got a perfectly good microphone that he could answer with, but he's choosing to type in chat instead. Anyway, let's go. We're resuming the trial of the day. Resume. And I think resume a bromi, it is time for you to mispronounce the month. I was gonna I was gonna type it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just type <laughs> <laughs> Just type no, out all your lines. I, I appreciate your commitment to the bit, if nothing else. <laughs> all right. June 17, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. God, I wish I could do a number two. Oh my gosh, the reverb in my ears. This is it, the big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Game hours. Oh, what time did you wake up? Uh, 3 a.m. <gasps> That's only two hours, Apollo! But at least you have me! And the amazing Mr. Hat! Here's looking at you, kid! Good luck today, Apollo! That, that voice! Hey, uh, get any sleep? Mr. Wright! I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the Indochine pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who pro Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Mmm. How about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope, guess again. That's too bad. You know... Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. Edgeworth! <laughs> it's barely morning and you're already at it, Trucy. <laughs> He's not answering my calls. Okay. See, <laughs> this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. That's okay, Goop. Thanks for stopping by. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> what do you mean? So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. She's going to be a witness? But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of here. <laughs> uh, get it? Because they're magic killer. panties. They're magic panties. Uh. June. June. June 17, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Oh my god, the shivers. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. Wallolo! <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. My boots scootin' babies driving me crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my obsession for the weapon. Dance floor date. Wait! Oh, I thought you said it was your birthday group. That's pretty cool though. <laughs> 
prosecution has warmed up and, and it's a sold out house. Very well, to recap. Well, yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party. Hey. Guilty of penny snatching. We did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Her Judge. And today I'd like to do something a little new age. Oh, well, happy birthday for three days ago, Goop. Happy birthday sorry. for three days ago, Goop. So sorry we missed it. Happy birthday for three <laughs> days ago. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Goop! Thank you. Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, she's a jolly good fellow. Anyway. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you see to his betrothed. My fucking his betrothed. <laughs> his fiance, her judge. His partner for life with no chance for parole. His finance. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> May show the um, lucky lady to the stand. <laughs> Who laughed at my god awful joke? Uh, guilty. <laughs> it's always going to be sunny. Let's be honest. <laughs> when, when, you hear, when you hear a pot kettle that boiling, that's me. <laughs> Your name and occupation, Fraulein. Lady Tiala, my occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. You would. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded under what? In 5D chess. <laughs> Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. But I couldn't hide the truth. Mm. Honesty, another admirable trait. For a line, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kataki confessed his plans. His plans for murder? Yes. Army, pay attention or I'll steal your no, lines. No, I am. I am. <laughs> the button was not working for some reason. The oh. witness will please give her testimony to the court. Oh no, his butt wasn't working. My oh, butt! No. That is butt. Oh. My butt ass! In the butt. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Wookie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And we already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Wookie could have done it. Oh, the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard. <laughs> yes, with regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki Mansion on charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it? Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. Ballistics. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks. Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Waki's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. <laughs> you it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. You could say he executed Order 66. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. 
the younglings, Anakin. <laughs> Not the younglings. Not the younglings. <laughs> This track is a banger, hey. This is a fucking good track. Mm. My favorite is when he does his shower and gun thing and it like goes all slow uh, and trippy. So yes. fucking good. And just grind it up and snort it. Mm. Just like Apollo does. How can does. you say that for certain? How? Objection! Getting slow and trippy. Apple bottom jeans. Oh, Emily's coming through. The fur. <laughs> Her forehead. You will refrain from badgering the fur line. It was the defendant, um, Rocky, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. It's wonky. I saw wonky. Wonky, wonky, wonky cock block. I forgot about wonky cock block. God damn it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I suppose we do know about wonky cock block. Wonky. So how could have anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah? Had to be wonky cock block. Hmm, <laughs> that does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. Based. Based. Oh, I assure you, it's quite One based. other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. It's Dr. Hickfield, obviously. Fuck. I can hate that guy. Well, of course. I mean, you, Miss Tiala. Me? Why? You were quite, quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection! Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé? And killed the man in cold blood on his behalf? It's blued. Blued? Blued. 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 Fuck you guys. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... Does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm surprised you can That's pronounce a lot of that, syllables. Judge. Yeah. <laughs> Unfathomable. Snuffleupagus. Unflappable. Aluminum. <laughs> Fucking get out of there. <laughs> it's, al it's aluminium. Aluminum. 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 <laughs> I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. Clearly you don't love someone enough, Your Honor. He definitely I hope you do more than hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm. That would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. No, you don't. Underwear. <laughs> They both wore women's underwear. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Bloom in hell. <laughs> Looks like a medical chart. Down inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala, whatever. Why is your name on this chart? Well, Care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? No. Yeah. I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Mm -hmm. Our warm little fiancé just froze over. Oh, Have. I was staff at that clinic until half a year ago. 
It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Mist Diao, you testify that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. N now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? That's not true at all. Why, I... I embrace the ones I love. Past flaws and all. There's no connection now. Doesn't fly in a court of law. Yes, it does. Does it fly? Yeah. Hmm. She's one tough nut. Eat nut. She probably feels right at home with the Kitakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic. True. But you remain connected somehow. Somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Show us with evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus oh, Clinic. I was hoping that would just be the line. Just <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that court scribes have to annotate if someone burps or sneezes? <laughs> they actually yeah. write animatopias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just right in the middle of his, like, fucking long speech, just... <laughs> <laughs> Defendant <laughs> then burps for approximately 6.5 <laughs> seconds. I think it's illegal to drop a fart while you're on trial. Like a really bad an average I, 5 out of 10. Dude, I feel like I, I would. Just like I, a I, nervous I, fart. It'll be a loud one too. I can imagine, I can imagine like you're just sort of standing there <laughs> and you're like, oh, please don't let this be the type of courtroom that has reverb. But then you just like <laughs> think you let out a fucking s silent one, but it just echoes throughout the whole fucking place. <laughs> no, I do, I do a full leg uh, raise there, I think. Soundboard with the fart noise. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's These, what sandals... <laughs> These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Uh, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. With the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. <laughs> so sorry for a line, but your act isn't working. Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware that toes leave toe prints? A simple Ew. analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Feet <laughs> 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 added to the courtroom. Feet <laughs> hanging out with Emma too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Soup, this is a perfect time for you to follow up with your little licky noises. <laughs> now we move on to the little toe. Ah! Ew. Oh, no. <laughs> no. And then a big suck for the big toe. Ah! <laughs> you may continue. Why did I encourage this? Um, <laughs> exactly! Well, <laughs> now we see your true colours. <laughs> I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to get... You to, to help get Wacky back on the street. <laughs> you, can't, you can't stop thinking about her feet now, can you? <laughs> no, it was the duck, to be honest. <laughs> Wank. That duck out of here. Now fuck off, get out of here. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> this court thinks you need to worry less about Waki and more about Cocky. <laughs> it sounds as though oh. we need to hear a bit more about your story. What about Ducky Kataki? <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes in, guys, ten minutes in. Goosey McGoosey. <laughs> McGoosey. McGoosey. <laughs> McGoosey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those Canadian McGooseys. Fuck. Oh. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic. Which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. 
Very well. The witness will tell us about this visit. No, I won't. Oh. Guess what? He's Any guilty, reasons. then. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? Just tell us. Fuck. Jesus. Gosh. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year. Since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Rocky had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. <laughs> Why else would I have gone? <laughs> I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. As an old, dear, only friend. Only friends? You have an only friends? <laughs> Man, if you look at the bottom of my shoe, fun. there's my only friends on there. <laughs> <laughs> By mistake, you mean... The mistake we heard about from the defendant? I fucking love steak. Mm. The botched steak. operation? Court record. Two yeah, penises! Two <laughs> penises. <laughs> <laughs> That's really why she wants Walkie. He's got two penises. <laughs> I guess he really isn't. Both of them are just block. below average. Ooh, <laughs> if you combine them, <laughs> if you combine them, they oh, become like two average penises. It is not like a duck. <laughs> he was a timid, <laughs> small man. But I never wished him <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I should let him know. He was you small, know? but had a corkscrew penis. <laughs> it's not about the girth, it's all about the length. Mm. It's all about the all satisfaction. About the that does make us. sense. That does make sense. Oh yeah, that is your line, sorry. <laughs> it's that, getting um, hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not... Does not what? <laughs> does not compute. The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn, I would have worn them home. God, I love high heels. I would have worn those sandals home too! So why were the sandals left behind? I don't know! Let's do a sniff test, shall we? Oh, God. Let's not. You pointed out the contradiction before me! There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Talia? Tiala? <laughs> have a good day at work, Goop. Why the oh, fuck do we even have, like, prosecutors have and defenders? Work. They're both just doing whatever the fuck they feel like doing. Uh, I so, don't know. Why is he, why is he shitting on the witness? That's Apollo's <laughs> job. What the fuck? What is going on? I don't understand everybody. I'm scared. Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake? Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no, no other possible explanation, ya yeah, forehead. Ya yeah, forehead? Oh, man! Filling the holes in your testimony. Offense may begin the cross examination. Yeah, that's our job. I love the slow text that I can't speed up. It's so good. Gives me time to snack. That's fair. I'll go yeah, slower yeah. then. Let's go over to Gives me the time to quack. Send button and then go over here. Don't take forever, please. <laughs> and then. Uh, uh, Present! Ugh! Hmm. 
This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's house. Yes. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? Mind filling me in? No. Dr. Maracnus didn't he? have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Bad He's definitely a Lincoln Park kind of doctor. Save me! Crawling in. Evanescence. Well, that's like, Evanescence, crawl. not Lincoln Park. I know, it just reminded me. But both. I reckon this is the boat. Wait, Lincoln Park did sing the male part of um, Bring Me to Life, so... Oh, really? What? Yeah. Oh, dope. What? I didn't know the that. The whole Wake Me Up part, that's Lincoln Park. What? Say I'm not wrong! I didn't know that. I thought it Damn. was her. I'm pretty sure. I have to I thought it was their male vocals. Oh, now. Chester, right? You're talking about someone else. Hang on, I've so got to Chuck fact check Chester? Myself. The lead singer was Paul Chester from Lincoln Park. <laughs> I thought you said... I thought you said the lead singer was Chuck Tester. Apparently it's Paul McCoy. <laughs> what? Apparently it was somebody called Paul McCoy. No, that's the lead singer was Chester from. Yeah, no. So Lincoln Lincoln Park had no involvement in that song. Sorry, Maybe it's another one. Fact checking. But um, apparently them, Paul McCoy was base. from some other group called Twelve Stones. So I, well, I can see why you get mixed up. <laughs> Music trivia. This is what you come here for, guys. Paul Stoned. Well, I'm not here for the voice acting. Mm. Not here to fuck spiders. And this is where you yeah. come in, Miss Tiala. Yes. This is where you come. Right here. The nurse who filed this chart... Ah. Who filed this chart was you. Which means... You knew about Wonky's failed operation. Interesting. Yes, the fact you would call it a failure. And he got two penises. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kinda makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Fuck, you gotta. You won't be nervous. Yeah, do you do that? <laughs> Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Mm -hmm. This chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Who bad, little attorney? <laughs> that vibe's hitting mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> My bracelet's reacting again. When the acid hits. Oh. It's getting weird, Scoop. It's getting weird! <laughs> What is happening? Ika. What is it, Soup? You have a line! Yeah. You just said it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Hmm. Just like yesterday. Like you said. It's Kamehame time. I don't know, wait, it's not I don't know who says that, but whatever. <laughs> Just hybridized all voices. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hat. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Uh? <laughs> oh, then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it. What? What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't see it, but you can sense it. With your penis! I don't know about that, Trucy. I don't have some kind of special power on my cock or anything. Aw, listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony. 
Well, we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, well then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo. With your eyes and your penis. <sighs> then Every day we my stray penis. further from God's light. I don't know why, but the penis helps. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Somehow, touching it helps me focus. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, the darkness creeps in our lives. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Alright, you ready? It's acid tripping time, boys and girls. Ooh. Yeah, this is really hard to do. Gotcha. Why go to the clinic for half a year chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. What? She was unsure. I saw it. Now, that's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, well, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Huh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. Got her on the ropes now. I can feel it strike the killing blow with evidence. <laughs> Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. Panties. <laughs> panties. Panties. Not the panties. A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Uh, n nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Wonky's chest x-ray would reveal. Uh. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. <laughs> Jesus oh god. Christ. I was not expecting the fucking round of applause there, Jesus. That's all, Your Honor. That's all. What? Just happened. Did the witness just admit to lying? Who was clapping? I want to be the very best. Like no one. Oh yes, Clevy is a Pokemon fan. Um, Fuck yeah. Um, burn him. Of course he is. I sensed it. <coughs> there was a great aura em emanating from her forehead. Very cool. So the lady was lying, it seems. Mm, that's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. But her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Katakis got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Order! Order! 
I did it. I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo. I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait! Miss hmm? Tiala? It's true. That shot was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But... but that's all! I told him about Waki and went home. Dun, 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 it appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? She hid the truth from us. This is clear. Yet, it is not clear. Uh, it is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Mm. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. That was so close. You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. I have to think about how to say Apollo now. Thanks. Apollo. <laughs> Welcome. Apology. You owe us an apology. <laughs> an apology. <laughs> apology. You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. A duck walks into a lemonade stand and he says to the man <laughs> running instead, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? Enough of this joking around, the police investigated <laughs> that clinic. <laughs> Enough of this duckery. <laughs> Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. But there is a problem. How can you say that bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kitaki mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves the firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Not a bad, her forehead. What a cute little twink you are. Hey, Elif! <laughs> have this bullet analysed immediately! <laughs> I've never heard Apollo be referred to as a cute little twink. <laughs> 30 minutes later, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. I don't know who is speaking, so I do French. On, on, oui, oui. I think that was supposed to be a Burmese line. Just saying. <laughs> well. Well. Well, well, well. Well, the safe was fired from the metal weapon. <laughs> hon, hon. Oh, no. It was the judge's French cousin. <laughs> Allez-vous français? I'd, I'd oh, gay okay. français. <laughs> that hurt me. That hurt me. <laughs> I miss John Armstrong. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. Face down. Missionary, you're on. <laughs> Face down. in that safe. Proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. You 
think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus. In order to open the safe? Only one person in the position would do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Alita Battle Angel. <laughs> Good reference! Order! Order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Tiala knew about Waki Kitaki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him and then the bullet finally reached its destination? What? Shot through the heart and you're too oh. lame, darling. You give Accurate. love a bad name. That reminds me. <laughs> Apparently the Katakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune? Who what? fucking said that? Was me, motherfucker! You keep talking trash about my leader! I'll sue you, lawyer man! Huh? Me? Yeah, you! You said... You said you'd... You'd... You'd abuse my Alito! Hmm... Um... I think you mean accuse. Dear friends! Well, you can't have her! She's mine! It was me! I shot the doctor! Me! You I did not shoot the sheriff. Cap in his ass! Left me to die, so I left him to die too! They're in that park! Wonky! I didn't shoot the deputy! You keep your hands off my leader, or I'll. Oh. <laughs> Miss Tiala! That was a good guess. I'm sorry. I just. It's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Hmm? Something funny? <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Wake up and smell reality. A, a little baby? Honey pond sugar pie? <laughs> the signature on the chart. The engagement. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> it's so obvious. Even for brainless. Spoiled brat such as yourself. Uh, a little. Your honesty is like a breath of foul air for a line. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean. Anyway. So, the family fortune is what you're really after. Yes, I was That's right. That's right. I wanted the money. No way! I'm gonna go listen to Kanye West. She ain't nice saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no bro. Oh. <laughs> in the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who? Me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. <laughs> Accuse. Oh. Of what crime, might I ask? Uh-huh. Lying in court? Oh, I'm a bad girl. Sure. I got close to that brat because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. I was definitely, it was definitely, that silly brat. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Is that Drusy? You had the most to lose if the chart was, chart was found. 
But I didn't have a pistol. Now did I? Well, you could have taken walkies. You think he'd have mentioned that? No. All I've heard him say is, it was me. I shot him. That's only because he's trying to protect you. I'll be, I'll be. Sorry, guys. All good. There's a bear in there. An Sorry. electric chair. Sorry to oh. intrude in this lovely conversation. Mm -hmm. But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What? What point? Certainly. The Fräulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh. You see, that shot wouldn't have been left in that safe. Uh. He, he's right. Miss Tiala. He's doing it. Yes. <laughs> it's clear to this court that you are not a very good fiance. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it's time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget. That's a judge. That's a ju uh, Oh, what the? I think that is meant to be Apollo, but they've just written judge there. Yeah, there we go. It is meant to be him. <laughs> We've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. Can't wait for that HD remix to come out. <laughs> Alright, I might just wait here until Hera gets back. I am so fucking keen for the new for the for the for the remix, like the HD to come out next year. Mm. That was like yeah, the best announcement timing. ever. Yeah. Although, um, question what's the pun for Paul Maractus? I'm trying to figure it malpractice. out. Malpractice. Oh. You switch for P in the oh. M and you get malpractice. <laughs> malpractice, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That took that also took me a while and then I was like, ha Palmeractus, that's a weird name. Ha <laughs> Palmeractus Malpra Wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. So H D H D fucking So how are you playing this right now? Are you using an Android I'm, device? I'm using a uh it's it's essentially a PC emulator called Bluestacks that like lets you play your apps. So I bought this legit. This isn't like an uh pirated ROM or anything. It's actually from um it just allows you to play like your phone apps on a computer, essentially. Okay, so you bought it from like the Google Play Store? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, but so I'm, do... I am thinking. Um, I know I mentioned this, but I'm reckon what I'll do, uh, is probably wait out the HD remix to play Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice, and in between we'll like play the Great Ace Attorney or something. After this game. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Because I heard a lot of like things about the, the, the cutscenes crashing the app. On the on the phone for for the next game. Yeah, and they're mm -hmm. also just cringe. Yeah, the, I don't know what it is, but they just have like so many typos and like weird things in them. It's a bit weird. I hope they fix that because I don't remember the, either. I didn't notice it, or I just they weren't in the original game. I just don't remember them being this widespread. Like, I feel like the localization team, if they were officially doing it, would have a bit more quality control. Hmm. Well, that's all good. That's all Gucci. Hmm. 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 Truly. Mm. Truly. Undoubtedly. What do we got in Lawyer Gang? Oh, it's Edgeworth's bleeding nose over the Steel Samurai. Excellent. Jerry has jumped up onto my lap and is currently resting there. What a cutie. Wizard is eating an apple, it seems. That is correct. Mm, very good. You should have a you cat know what they say. for when it's quiet. 
cat stream. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. Let me see what I got here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to cat stream. Welcome to cat stream, Jerry. Oh, hello, Jerry. Jerry stream. She's she lay on lap and like head pets very much. Eh? Don't you? Don't you, darling? You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. I have been showing, um, there's, there was a new guy that started at work today. Or well, last week, actually. But, uh, he's a cat person. And then as soon as I found that out, I'm like, look at my baby! And just showed her, like, a, showed him, like, a bunch of... How did he get pits. a job if he's a cat person? I mean, I did it. Somehow. He's certainly a cat man. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cap. I see what you did there, right? My bad. Well, I mean, they they released him from like the research lab, and you know, he kind of had to make a living for himself. So, yeah. Oh, I'm loving all the cat emotes. Those uh, those tuna treats weren't gonna buy themselves. Pretty much, yeah. You kind of gotta you gotta work for them, don't you, sweetie? Just like you do, being a oh. fucking adorable cat all day, Where, every where's, day. Where's the Kerbos? Oh, Kirby's dead. Uh, oh, the Kerbos Hello. might not. I might not actually have them on this. Oh, hey, where are they? They should be here. Oh, you're back. Sorry. There they are. They were just down okay. a little bit. Joel, I need to send you the cutest little thing. Oh, okay. And it's not me. Oh my god, the... You have my permission that you didn't require. There you go. <laughs> um, sorry, Hera. We were just we were just waiting for you to come back because. Aww. Luda's got a testimony, and we've got Aww. Jerry in the f in the in the stream right now. Little Jerry, little Jerry, Hi, Jerry. All right, are you guys ready to continue? Let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. Goodbye, cat stream. Bye, Jerry. It's been real. Bye, Enjoy Jerry. The cuddles. We'll give a lot of pats from you guys. I promise. All right, let's go. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it. So I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. You went back later? That chart was dangerous. You understand? I needed to get rid of it. That's why I went that day. The shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> But you couldn't get the chart then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah, that was you. Oh, thump. Ah, Apollo, that sound! It came from behind the store! Hmm, someone's in there. A, a break in! They left through that window! So you were the burglar? That was you two? <laughs> if only I had one more minute. And I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing and brazen at that. <laughs> Is this a trial for trespassing now? Besides, I can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They are gangsters, you know. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. 
Committing the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? Hold up to the doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? Oh if shit, here we go again. <laughs> if the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. Her forehead. However, the entry <laughs> wound was in the right temple. Yes, we heard testimony on this yesterday. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I can hear him now. <laughs> I'm... Let's get the shit out of me. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Big W. <laughs> Big Dub's in the chat. Blue target. <laughs> <laughs> Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look and was shot. But that testimony was proven to be a lie. Our egregious panty snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did witness the crime. Excuse me. But he was standing to the north, next to the trash can where he tossed those panties. If Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. She might be having internet problems. They've been happening. Ah, sorry. Oh, Mickey. Sorry. You should be sorry. Oh no, she's been assaulted by the Mimki. Uh, Mickey attack! Mickey attack! Mickey attack! Sorry! I just went You're to go okay. put kimchi in the fridge and then Mickey ran in here and I was chasing him and then I accidentally stood on him. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> we must placate to the Mimki. Mickey's Step back. on the sausage. <laughs> silly, the last silly thing you attorney. Do. What? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Hmm. Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. But his location was proven. You can't write that off as him being mistaken. Objection! Then why don't, uh, then why don't you show us her Apollo? <laughs> Throwing a bit of a savour into that mix. Nice. A hairy apple. <laughs> show you what? Must I explain everything? Very well. Let's recap. If the witness, Panties Guy, was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? But wait, if the witness was standing there... And realizing... You are just like me, trying to make history. <laughs> How could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? 
<laughs> I merely laid out the facts for us. It is up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Hmm. Wonky Kitaki was standing at the killer mark. Where's the stickler? At the witness mark. And of course, Palmaractus was at the victim mark. Let's hear what the defense has to say. Where was the killer standing when they shot the victim? As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? It's time to raise the roof and the stakes. Eh? Penalties are such frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Thick. Ah, I'm scared! Oh my head! I don't even got love. Like so. Double penalty. I, re I misread that. What? I misread double penalty as double something else. <laughs> oh my god. Double penetration? <laughs> oh. Uh, wishes to take a, a, us in a new direction? Uh, two directions. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. The challenges of double penetration. Challenge accepted. It's Apollo time. <laughs> Too many Apollos everywhere. Uh, are you sure, Apollo? <laughs> he is the witness. Mr. Stickler's testimony. If we believe that, and we know where he stood, and the victim turned out, turned when he shouted. There's only one place the killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from. <laughs> dun dun. And I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude to Miss Alita Tiala. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. He shouted. Just as he told us in this testimony. And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. The victim was hit in the right temple. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right. Towards the noodle stand. Order! <gasps> it Order! Was the noodle guy. Order! Not Mr. Eldune. So you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? Let's think more. Uh, let's think about this in a, a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand? Which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park. Wheeling his own murder a murderer in the cart behind him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh good. And you weren't wrong. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. There's something we should worry about before that. 
why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Jenny's got a gun. <laughs> Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Like that salt that's on the stand that's just like you. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Let's talk about proof, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone was in the stand? Sun Sun Sunny's just popping off in the chat <laughs> about how, like, simple forensics would have figured this out already. <laughs> I've got it right here. Look, there's a reason Emma didn't pass her aptitude test for forensics, okay? <laughs> Intriguing. Let's see what you've got. Apparently Emma doesn't have fucking eyes. Just proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Uh, she's just got fucking... She's eating too Spanish. many snackoos. The Maractus Clinic. And they're covered with paint. <laughs> Love the idea of saying, well, too bad, instead of presenting evidence. <laughs> 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 it's brilliant. These slippers found in a trash can near the crime scene. Uh, Mitch chick and... brings all the boys to the yard. I apologize, I'm having my snacky wackies, and... All good. <laughs> a single slipper print was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. Oh, and Miss Tiala. Your toe print was found in the left slipper. <laughs> in other words, this is proof you were inside that noodle stand. <laughs> I hate that it never picks these up. <laughs> Yet there was only one slipper marker found at the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? <laughs> Observe the diagram. A park so pathway runs good. right next to the slipper park. The slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Yet you still cannot say this is a footprint, yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the uh, on the stand and simply fell to the ground? That's it's just dumb. <laughs> One more thing. A noodle, a noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle making trade. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Mm, you have a point. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Apollo, I think I might be onto something. Hmm? I think I've figured out one of our places of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Justice? Your proof that someone could have hidden in the stand. No. I can prove one thing. <laughs> someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Here, Odin's God. noodles noodle stand. Noodle, There's more. Noodle, no. noodle, 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 noodle stand. Noodle. Give you a noodle. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday in the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? Mr. Odoon was very clear about these bowls. <laughs> well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. 
right around the time that you were there, Mr. Lee Datiella. Oh, help! That came through really well. I won't listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than that spoiled brat's pickup lines. Yo, baby, why you got a head on me like that? Shut the <laughs> fuck up, you incel. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Damn. I would like to remind <laughs> the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. Why do you suck on these nuts, Your Honor? <laughs> show me you're innocent, I'll show you Got him. Inconceivable. <laughs> In any case, uh. Fritz <laughs> <laughs> has somehow made his point. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Scribe, <laughs> make sure that is annotated in the court record. <laughs> Bad influence on me. <laughs> Witness has both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is the fairy tale. And please pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala. Which there goes gravity. Send us back to reality. I'm giving you oh. one last chance to explain yourself. You've got one shot. Hmm. This is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand that night? And what was the leader Tiala doing inside? Time to get to the bottom of this case. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. Oh, let's fucking go, Ozzy Boggan, Dero! Ozzy, Ozzy Boggan? Ozzy Bogan. Ozzy Bogan. If you so oh, wish. Oh, God, here we go. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall. I oh, that just went English. <laughs> <laughs> I've become proper, letting I have. Letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. But Mr. Maractus didn't understand it. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. Yes, but this so I gave idea. up and went home. All I did was talk to him. I can't when I I can't do it higher pitch. Oh, you know about the botched operation. <laughs> so you tried to get rid of the chart. Save yourself, eh? Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! I won't make excuses. <laughs> fuck me! I would be just cringing if Apollo actually sounded like that in intimidation. It's amazing. <laughs> You don't want to oh, hear what get fuck, I'm good. fucking intimidating you cunt. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brad got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Mm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice, begin your cross-examination. Yeah, right, you're on a fuck. This is my last testimony. Oh, either I'll perceive the truth or it's over. Not too fucking right. I hate this so much. <laughs> I know we're doing Aussie Bogan, but I should probably mention this is the part that has that, like, graphic okay. thing. Just, just so everyone's aware. <laughs> oh, I do fucking like fucking doing this fucking slow text fucking and stuff, don't I, eh? Oh, oh, fucking fucking speed it up, eh? Hey. Fucking eh, fucking get it, get it, hurry on. Fucking speed it up, eh? Fucking wriggle on, mate. Jesus just, fucking Christ, just hey. Just give it a here. fucking line, all right? Let's let it oh, pass, speed Jesus up a bit, eh? Jesus fucking Christ, I'm sorry, just Jesus. Shit will get off the pot, eh? Don't so fucking oh, slow. Just give time to fucking trip some ass today. Oh, God, cracky. Look at this fucking... Shouldn't have double dropped at fucking 3 p.m. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, I only got these for five bucks. Might have to fucking go back to Jero and get some more. <laughs> gotcha. Holy shazza, fucking cat, give me back me Lord Mower, eh, cunt? Shazza. Give Pull up, Clint. Get us another bag. <laughs> All I did was talk and lie. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm scared. <laughs> what? Show me proof. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure about this one. Fuck, I think I'm getting the hang of it. A little slip in confidence, so they give it all away. Brief, it's you. It's you, Miss Tiara. All I did was talk to him, blah blah, you claim. Yet you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My twitch? I can't. What are you talking about? Hey, you don't have to anymore, it's all good. Also, this is my twitch. How dare you? You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. What? What? Fuck, this is working better than I'd hoped. <laughs> I'd like Her to think that his internal monologue... <laughs> yeah, I like his, his, his internal monologue is just exclusively Ocker. Her unconscious <laughs> actions tell the truth she won't say. <laughs> Habits and lies, two dots. Fuck, I'd go for a dot. Connect the dots to find the truth. <laughs> Only on a Saturday. Don't look at me like that. I told you the truth. Seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? I keep my hands to myself. Hmm. Seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Maractus Clinic office. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. Ladies' panties. What's that? You're touching your scarf again. There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. Huh? Seeing how you hide your neck, I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp state. Yeah. Well, spit it out! This talking in circles is... N nonsense is killing me! Brother, what happened? Very well. The answer is very simple, Miss Alita Tiala. Please remove your scarf. I don't know why, but I just picture the GTA, like, wasted thing every time that happens. <laughs> wasted. Mandoliness is killing me. And Hell yeah. This is a trial to determine what happened in that park. Yet we seem to have drifted off target. Objection! We'll find out soon enough, if we're drifting. As soon as the witness removes her scarf. third party. You can't order me to remove my clothing. Uh, Miss Tiala, I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. Uh -huh. You're hardly unrelated. Please remove your scarf. No. No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Alita Tiala? Your neck? That isn't what I think it is. Something did happen that night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back, no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiancé's pistol to do it. Wait! Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck, it looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly. 
the victim in the clinic that night was this witness, specifically. You tried to threaten Dr. Maractus, and he attacked you. That's what happened at the night of the night of blah, 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 that night at the Maractus clinic. Someone please tell me what really happened. I told you the truth already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. <laughs> Gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. Looks like my client's seen its last patient. We have to get rid of the chart! Quick, open your safe. Give it to me. So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. Leaving me holding the short straw. But if I'm going down... I want some company. You! And what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. Paul Maractus was serious. Deadly serious. He really tried to strangle me. I... I must have blacked out. Oh, you were the victim. And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick? I... didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There. Are you happy now? Um... I was out cold, almost killed, and you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand. But how could I? <laughs> well, one thing is clear. We now know what really happened at the Maractus Clinic. And it would seem that our victim was not entirely without blame himself. I, I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's, it's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. You bear some responsibility for events that day, true. Yet, if you are also a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice. I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss Tiala. When did this happen? Just now. <laughs> Suddenly everyone's sympathizing with her. Wow, hello. Oh, bruh. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. <laughs> I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Very well. This finishes the cross-examination of this. <laughs> Not so fast. This party's just getting started. 
Now we rock. What? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way? Secure the cavern. Palmaractus choked Alita Tiala. She fell unconscious. Well, what happened next? He's right. There is more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even still, what if it was her in that noodle stand? Lady Tiala, half dead. Dr. Maractus pulled that from that stand. And the bullet fired from the inside of the noodle stand. What if it's all true? We might have already figured it out what really happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You really want to blame me for this murder, don't you? You too, Prosecutor Gammon. Me, the Fraulein, I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up till now. On the day of the murder, Wonky saw his checkup report, from which he learned about the bullets still inside him. So, he took a pistol from the family stash, with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about this from Wonky. Does that mean Bromi swaps with Hera? Ika? Ika? <laughs> uh, you, I'm, I'm asking you because you're the one who put it there. Oh, uh, hello? <laughs> game Master rules. Okay, you I do. guess they swap. So do you answer the Maractus clinic ahead of him? So you say the lie, but you won't answer my fucking question. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Wow. <sighs> okay, so Hera's the judge and Bromi is a leader. <laughs> Go on then, Ika. Let's go. In, in order to get rid of the child. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> no, that's Ika's line. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I just ask for your attention for a couple of hours a week. Come on. A measly couple of hours. It's not much. I don't know about that one, Chief. In order uh. to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then, something happened. You pay for our presence, not our attention. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Come on, Bromi. Pay for my name on the calling card. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, so To be fair. My own wife bamboozled me, okay? I thought she was quiet because it was my turn. <laughs> and I was just like... Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. It was... I was out cold. Woof. But what about Dr. Maractus? Your love is like bad medicine. Bad medicine is what I need. <laughs> that does seem to be the problem. Yes, Naughty bad medicine. girl with a bad habit for drugs. <laughs> he had just drank yeah. Lolita Tiala, perhaps. He thought to death. What did he do after his crime? It was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene in the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, her forehead? Care to guess? Uh -huh. 
go, Hera. You're the judge. Well, Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Baractus do? <laughs> that was pretty good. Maybe Thank you. Maybe you think he killed a leader Tiana. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? Oh, fuck. I don't know, man. No. Panties. Ooh, panties. No. Oh. Slam desk. As his next move, Dr. Maractus, dot dot dot, dot dot dot, stole Guy Aldoon's noodle stand. Dun dun. You forgot a piece dun, dun. of punctuation. Exclamation mark. There we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Killing me disturbed him that much. So much he randomly stole a noodle stand. It wasn't so random. Remember all the balls in the clinic's foyer? No. Balls are belonged inside that stand. I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is why did he remove the balls? Maybe because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place. Ah. Oh. Wait, you don't mean... I do. Dr. Maractus did replace those balls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala. <laughs> My corpse? You can swap back over now. No! Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he'd killed you. <laughs> I will smack you, Bromie. Smack! Ooh, daddy. Little love tap on the butt cheek. Uh, oh, oh. Ooh. 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 Mm. I love those, I love those butt taps. <laughs> His next move would be to dispose of the body. I'm gonna pay bongo trums on your ass. Want to pet Minky. Smack them badonk badonks. <laughs> Did you just say I want to pet Minky? Yeah. Oh, fair Mi enough. Uh, Minky the dog. to play my buns like Minky. 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 <laughs> 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 That's crazy talk. You're all crazy. Hey, you don't want to talk. Then let's Yahoo! think about it. Logically. <laughs> Big summer blowout. <laughs> the doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there... Who should he run into but the defendant, Wonky Kitaki? I question your... What's this? Prosecutor Gavin, I almost forgot that we saw back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> We're nearly at the end. Wiz? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? Sorry, I, my internet was really wonky, wonky cock <laughs> The internet was wonky cock blocky. <laughs> yeah, the internet is really wonky cock block. <laughs> That's right, he had no reason to go there. Oh. Oh. Now I get it. It was a trick. I suppose Brett made, made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. Apparently, the defense has an idea. Tell us! <laughs> Listen, whore. <laughs> Tell us, whore! Tell us, whore! <laughs> Tell us, whore! <laughs> Tell us, whore. <laughs> Dr. Maractus was heading with the stairs. <laughs> the judge is just like, I've had enough of this shit! Fuck yeah, you! <laughs> I'm, I'm going beast mode! <laughs> Peter, please show me where the fuck he was! <laughs> to where exactly was the... <laughs> Oh, Over there, fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's tree. a that's a river. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your honor. I scarcely need to explain why. Hey, hey, hey! That's a river. Hey, hey, hey! That's a river. Good for the bodies. Uh, mm. I've become so numb. A perfect place to dispose of a body. Hmm. Don't kill it, Will. Was going to 
throw me into the river? Mm, then take a dump, I will. River dump we shall. Mmm. Excellent <laughs> sploosh. He didn't have any other options for a line. <laughs> Slam desk. I, I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. All good, uh -oh. oh! The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. My tongue keeps wanting to go sideways whenever I say that name. Alita Tiala. And then, the denouement. <laughs> I don't know. It's Danny Mond. Danny Mond. I've never seen that word before in my life. It's Danny Mond. Phonetically, he said it correctly. He did, yeah. I'm going to dig down. What was it? It just reminds me of that one word that Bromie fudged way back when. I can't remember what it was. There was oh. also one that Fluffy did as well. It was just yeah. fucking ridiculous. Sapi Sapoonade, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All good. No word, I just fumbled. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Wesley Stickler, of panty snatching fame, walks up. Ooh, that's me. Seeing the two men, he shouts. In that instant. Hey. Got any grapes? It's a wonderful nice kind of day. We get to learn to work and play and get along, get along with, each, with other. each other. Hey, it's Hi. a wonderful kind of day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> he fucking, he fucking <laughs> dies and the last thing he hears is the Arthur theme song. <laughs> 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 Shot him? You were the only one who could have stolen Waki's pistol. It had to be you. Oh my god. Are you yeah. fucking crazy? Oh, Miss Tiara. <laughs> oh. Next one, Daddy. Nice work. Whoa. Nice cock. <laughs> nice nice cock. cock. You mean. <laughs> I'm right. I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. To get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. Yeah, he's backed if up. If you're so sure he's making it up, oh, give I'm us so another up. reason. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. Your pussy! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows whereof I speak. Oh. Whereof what? Mr. Gavin knows all about gaping holes. I can't believe she's still Ooh. trying to deny this. <laughs> Is this true, Professor Prostitute? Professor Prostitute? Professor Prostitute? These words they cannot heal. These holes they weren't stop gaping. Oh my god. Our forehead, why do you like this? Must I always be the one to point out her forehead's errors? Maybe there really is something. I believe the Fräulein speaks of her doctor's car. I believe in a thing called love. I believe in a 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 love. That's right. Took to Maractus Clinic had that big garage. In which sat a green sports car, was it? Why would he steal the stand in the first place? If he wanted to carry a body, he could have just used his car. Ah. And so we find our victim without probable probable cause probable cause to steal that stand. Profitable. Prostitute. And our defense without a case. Prostate. Um, I have an idea. No one cares about you, little girl. <laughs> 
You know that green car? <laughs> I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Uh, what an excellent counter argument for a line. Thank you. I am selectively smart. Too bad you're quite wrong. <laughs> that actually worked. That actually worked. Good job. Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? <laughs> oh, yeah, every she stray. always put so much effort into it. Every stray we day furthest <laughs> from God's light. That's right, your daddy. That's right. Your daddy. That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright. Hey, what's that? Is that the light of God? Was that green sports girl? Oh, yes! Uh, I'd nearly forgotten about it! Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? Yeah. A glaring He's contradiction, really to be hard. sure. He's what? He is trying so hard to pin this on her, though. Mm. More glaring than your forehead. You stop with the bullying, please. No. Order, order, order. Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Doctor Maractus use his car to carry the body? Uh, mm, um. Is that a groan of surrender I hear, or a groan no, he just of came. pleasure? Jesus Christ, <laughs> Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. <laughs> Everything I've learned? Like how rock hard my abs are. What? Oh. Oh. I it's said my abs. No, no, we heard. It's all good. Mr. Justice, this contradiction casts doubt on your entire case. This is truly your last chance. Except a couple more. The defense wants <laughs> to explain to us what happened that night. Actually, I can't just pick one without getting penalized, but fuck it. Ooh. I have an idea. Ooh. It's all coming together. Ah. Uh. That night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiala. <laughs> Put one and one together, <laughs> and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's so simple. Show us some fucking proof. I wouldn't like that night. Oh, hey, Apollo, you can show us some evidence, yeah? Do it! Panties. Show us some evidence! evidence. Show us evidence. some evidence, yeah? Oh, panties! Let's see now, panties again! <laughs> yeah. Hehehe, <laughs> panties. All sorts of things come out of my panties. Oh, I bet. Did you pause halfway through that, Isha? <laughs> no. Yeah, stuff comes in her panties. Out, oh, out of them, out of them, oh, out oh, of truth. them, out of Jesus them, Jesus. Jesus. out of them. Question mm. mark. Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these panties, the latest in a string. <laughs> Of similar thefts, actually. Mm -hmm. string. I was like the Peter Griffin love. Lois, Lois, they said string. Lois, he said panties. <laughs> Stop, it's so stupid. Hey, Ada, what are you doing with the panties? That reminds me of the time they didn't animate my genitalia, because I'm so Ada. fat. Ada. Oh, but that nice. Ada. That was got me at. Ada. Oh, what shit. are you doing with those girls' panties? 
Very long. Oh, 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 oh Pena. <laughs> a brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. Uh. In the Maractus Clinic garage. Oh. What? Snatcher hid the panties there before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hit them. Why? Weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> By the way, I learned something yesterday. Mm. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Your rock hard ass, I mean abs. Ugh. Um, oh. so you were here investigating? And I know, and I was on my way home when the, my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. It was Too bad. exhausted. Too it looks like such a nice bike. <laughs> It was really tired. I was believing that it could break just from that. <laughs> Fuck me, Jesus. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Plug the exhaust and they won't run. My, how interesting. Well, Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling. Handy Snatcher snuck into the Maractus garage. From that time, until the time we found these. That car wouldn't start. What? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. Damn what those fingers do. Mm. Wait for the day. <laughs> well, Miss Tiala. This wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. So it does. So Fade to white as the duck does. quacks. Where? Where am I? It's so dark, I, c I can't see. I'm cramped. The pain, my throat's burning. W what's your problem? You dark, I know what you did. Ah! Pop, pop, okay. motherfucker. You lied to me, so you know what I'm gonna do? Gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man. What? Wait, let me explain. <laughs> All right, sure, that's cool with me. Go ahead. L listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me. <laughs> He'll ruin everything. I have to stop him. Ceaseless at once, you two! I pooped a little. <laughs> this would be an awkward time for someone to fart. I inked myself. Funny, this isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well. Too bad. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. There's still one mystery. Where's that oh, duck? We haven't found stupid. it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking duck? Where it is? I'm driving me mad! <laughs> How did you manage to disappear from that stand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little unhinged tonight, and I apologize. It's all right, man. <laughs> I just imagine Somebody like kill that only, only the only the judge hears the duck. So like he's like, "Where the fuck's <laughs> that no. duck?" And everyone's like, "What duck, Your Honor? Like, there's nothing here." Did you hear it? 
It cracks! Captain quacking! It's endless! Find him! Put Judge out to pasture. They're in the walls. <laughs> the ducks are in the walls. He's stalking me. He's around my bed and everything. <laughs> oh. In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I like your pants around your feet. <laughs> I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Enough with the slippers. <laughs> Dr. Maractus didn't pull a tape from the slippers off. <laughs> <laughs> I threw them out after I stepped in that paint, so... That was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake... ...was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. <laughs> I believed in you. You and your anything agency. If anyone would get Walkie declared guilty, it was you. Mm. Fucking rip. Just get good, idiot. I did. I believe we've now you're in jail. conclusion of sorts. <laughs> it's like, get good. Yeah, that's why you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> good. I am. <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tiala doing? Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Dude. She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. He figured out she was a killer a while ago. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. You lost. But I didn't ex exactly win either. Hmm? Something the, the matter her forehead? Looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Innocent. What is he? I fought the law and I won. What has occurred? <laughs> Call what? the judge, you lince. <laughs> Call the judge. I need my Jolter nangs and trangers. <laughs> oh you, need your, you need your what? <laughs> your something and frangers. <laughs> nangs and nangs. frangers. <laughs> nangs and frangers. June 17. Uh, June. 4.12 p.m. June. <laughs> June strict court. June. Defendant Juby number June. <laughs> District, June court, June. District Court Defendant Lobby Number but Two. June. Hey, Hera, we should rename the podcast to Nangs and Frangers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Great job, Just... Apollo. You did it. Yeah, we did somehow. Wonky's off the hook. <laughs> Free to become the gangster he's always wanted to be. And he has you to thank. Hey, attorney man. You're gonna pay for what you did to my little homes. Uh, or to blame, I guess. You give me my little back. Stupid point ahead attorney with a death wish. Stealing my girl. This is you, Bromy. Enough, Walkie. Ah! Mr. Kataki! It's high time you opened your eyes, Walkie. What, what do you know, old man? I think it's about time you opened yours. Giving up the life, trying to become some kind of businessman. Don't talk about what you don't understand, Walkie. I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. 
No, we're static paintings. We don't exist. Hmm. If not in jail, wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out. We know why Mr. Kotaki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Walkie. Oh, Walkie! Apollo has something to tell you. Huh? I uh, do? Way to put me on the spot. Eh, uh, what's that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kataki trying to become a businessman? Panties. Women's panties. <laughs> Think about it, Wonky. Think about your condition. Eh? I talked with your mother, Little Plum, yesterday. It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. She doesn't mean... You aren't really, are you? I searched the globe, and I found one. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. But it's an expensive procedure. M man but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. You're just gonna let me die? Fuck. <laughs> it was the gangster life that did this to you, Walkie. It was Walkie who did this to Walkie. I want to help you. I don't want to do it clean. It was walkie, 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 walkie. Oh. Waka, waka, waka. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 What did I miss? <laughs> What's the matter, Barmy? <laughs> oh, was he wearing glasses before, or did he just open his eyes? He opened his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> his eyebrows. Why does it say big wins? Is this a cloudy, like, chance of meatballs kind of this vibe? Is, this is his nickname. His nickname is Big Wins? Yes. Oh, oh my god, I need a moment. <laughs> oh. Did that actually break you? Yeah! <laughs> I, thought was, I thought the man was gonna cry! But oh. I wasn't expecting that! Look at those baby eyes. <laughs> he reminds me of a Goron from Zelda. Oh, yes. Oh, he does. Oh. 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 Please understand, Walkie. Oh. Please understand, Walkie. D dude, look at your fucking eyes. Look at you, Naruto <laughs> looking fucked. Dad, you opened your eyes. Man, I've been waiting. See, see how it is, old man, you looking with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I just noticed this, but Walkie is w wearing a fucking blue badger t shirt. Oh shit, like a oh, oh and it's got oh, uh, but it looks like he's been chroming. Yeah. <laughs> it has a it has a want wanted Yeah, he's it's, it's like a bad blue badger. Wonky? He, so you could say it's shadow. Listen <laughs> good old man, one day, one day. I'm gonna take you out, then we'll see who's the real OD. Pizzazz. You know, right? Try to hide in your business suit, I'll find you. Stupid old geezer! I'm out of here. See ya. She's uh. money, wonky. No, it's as it should be. Mr. Kitaki, I liked him more without the puppy dog eyes. I'm glad to have met you. I'm not so good with words. But I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. His eyes are so small, but his mouth is so big. <laughs> Me? I don't think. Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest. The Kataki Lime Pie. Ah, <laughs> Key Lime Pie. Kataki Lime Pie. Nice. He's yeah. opening a pie shop. So long. See ya. <laughs> and he was gone. <laughs> Don't kill someone. Yes. 
<laughs> he was never there, he just faded away. Peace. Remember who <laughs> you are. Remember who you are. Well, you are my son, An OG. To the right anything agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aww, we make a good team. Don't just stand there, let's get going. Huh? Why not? Yeah, she did help me out. And there's a few questions that still need answers. Like this power of mine that she showed me. And my bracelet. If anyone can help me figure it out, it's her. I summon Little Magician Girl in defense mode! <laughs> hey, yeah. God. hey, it's me. Although I can't Dark say I care up. for what her daddy has become. Hey, fucking excuse me, sir! <laughs> oh, that's right, we have some place to go first. This is what I get for taking you under my wing. Huh? Where? Why, to claim our reward from Mr. L. Doom. Ah, salty noodles. Alright. You got to stand back yet? Oh, and after that, you can come see my show. With a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, it's special, alright. Oh, please. Anything but him. Bitch, what the fuck did you just say? I will end you. I've got a knife. Didn't you see me earlier? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'll fucking end your face. Anyway, that's the end of the case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone take a bow. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah. It's very good. Good stuff. Fantastic. Awesome stuff. Now... Uh, okay. Please. Please, hold your applause. Please. Please, stop. I can, I can hear you pressing it again. Please stop. Stop. Settle. Calm down. Hey. <laughs> Eker, I know that's you. Fuck! Everyone's doing it now! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know how to press the button! Good. Let's let it stay that I way. I No! <laughs> no! Alright. Excellent. Everyone stand. Take a bow. Yes. Excellent Ending ovation. Work. Not quite sure if this really warrants. Ah, it fuck it. You all like did a good job. With some ducks. Kinda does. It's very relaxing. Maybe like popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Nap time. Definitely popcorn. Nap time. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed uh, <laughs> watching that. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe. Leave a comment. <laughs> leave, a, leave a clap. <laughs> leave a clap. <laughs> just, just clap exactly yeah. once. Just, just like, <laughs> just, just once. Yeah. Just clap, clap a single cheek. <laughs> don't, don't hurt. Yeah, <laughs> single cheek clap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave things there before things get way too hectic. Is uh Oh my god, this applause is crazy. I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> it's nuts. What the fuck who left? <laughs> oh bro. Just tears in my eyes. Good. Cry. Alright, I'm back. Alright, cool. <laughs> Actually, oh my god, please stop. I want to do an outro, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Bromi. Thank you, Hera. Thank you, Ika. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Wiz. And thank you, the viewer, for thank joining you, us on this ex- Oh, thank you, me. Yeah. You didn't say my yeah. name. I did. I said Hera. You did. I did. I promise. I it. You were like the third person I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go raid Saria Arts, because she's playing Monster Hunter at the moment, and that is a cool fucking game. Um, I'll probably be back on Thursday with a game of some description, hopefully. Perhaps one... <laughs> perhaps, perhaps one that has just released on Thursday, perhaps? 
I wonder which game that might be. Mm hmm. So my daddy is my teacher? Can, I, can anyone guess what potentially game that might be? Hmm, I will let you figure that out before uh, then. Hearts 3. Kingdom no. Hearts 3? Yeah, that's, Minecraft that's gonna, 2. Kingdom Hearts 3 Half is coming Life out 3. on Thursday, apparently. Half, <laughs> don't, don't say those things, Amber. Stop that. <laughs> Yikes. Don't put those words in this, in this ear Jesus. hole. Half Life Pog? Where's Half Life 3? Is it safe? Is it alright? Oh, it's no. the highly anticipated F123. You goddamn right it is. Anyway, go say hi to Saria. I will see you on Thursday for the super secret special. Age game. of Empires 3. <laughs> hey, that's Wallalo. the goat. Wallalo. Bye, everybody. Wallalo. Have a good one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Wallalo. 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 Wallalo.